Alrighty, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to this guy. Oh, he's still filling up the chest with wood. Let's get back into it and let's actually start uh, doing other stuff. So let's let's just go bit by bit getting these guys done. So what have we got? Let's hook you up. You're going down, aren't you? You're going up. We want a bit of this guy. Actually, let's remove this. We do not want any belts going into the realm of uh, of this area. We want this all to be undergrounds at this point. So you go like that, and then you go like that. And you go like that. Excellent. Stone bricks going in doing beautiful stuff so that's stone bricks carbon i feel like we really need a proper carbon setup at some point but this will do for now carbon is going to be like this it's down the bottom isn't it and what we'll actually do is excellent turn this guy around and that should be carbon come on carbon it's sort of, I'm pretty sure there's carbon going on down there, but it's hard to tell. I should expect to see it flickering like this guy. Weird. Oh yeah, that's carbon. That's carbon, all right. All right, so there is carbon going through there. Uh, what else we got that we can easily dump on here? Uh, batteries. Yep, batteries we can do. Oh, where do batteries go? Batteries go. Down a fair way, actually. Down a fair way. Uh, yeah, I feel like we can just make that a normal one. We don't need to do freaking undergrounds for that little area. Here we go, batteries coming in, batteries coming in. And yeah, it's interesting that this doesn't flicker because if we do this, suddenly it's there. But if we do that, yeah, because some of them flicker, like this, this flickers, but some of them don't. Maybe it's, if it's a full blue belt, it, no, now it's flickering. Interesting. It's flickering because there's a smallish amount, I don't know. This guy's definitely backing up now. So what else we got? We also got plastic. Let's get the plastic going. Let's cut all those off. Now this is also plastic, isn't it? So, uh, actually we'll cut this off a bit later because we need to get plastic all the way down here, don't we? So you are like that, and then you are like that. And you are going down like that. And then you go down to here. So we do split. Ah, yeah, I feel like that's good. That underground space is good. Don't necessarily need it, but. And you know what? Let's do a thing here. Later on, we might have two solid plastic belts going on, but for now, I feel like one and then split it off into both of these guys. Yeah, that should be fine. Now, what are we missing? We can have a look at these eventually and see what we're missing, but we got all of the basics. Tin, you are tin, you need to go on there as well. Uh, now, this is the end of our... Yeah, we're redoing the smelting area. I keep having to remind myself that we're redoing the smelting area, so it doesn't really matter. Now, where is tin up here? Okay, go like that.
Yeah, I don't know actually how important doing all this stuff is if we're redoing the smelting area because this would be kind of like a good time to do, redo the smelting area. But then again, we're going to need tons of machines. Maybe we can set up a bit of a logistics set, set up for getting those machines made and so on and so forth. And that'll be a good reason to have... Uh, yeah, to have stuff going on. You are lead, aren't you? You are lead. Where are you, lead? Oh, excellent. Oh, very, very, very good. So we definitely do not need you anymore. You can get thrown away. Okay, batteries go up like that, not like that, like that. Lithium batteries, excellent. So they'll go in there and they'll get done. This plastic is not going as fast as I thought. Ah, uh, because it's yellow belt. We still got some yellow belt putting plastics down. There we go. The throughput is suddenly much better. I don't think this guy can sustain a full blue belt, but... He's doing a pretty good job. It's half. I reckon that's half anyway. Wee. So yeah, suddenly plastic. And it's splitting off half here as well because this guy is apparently this plastic. Well, it was. It was using a ton. Sort of backed up again. Is that for batteries? Yeah, it was for batteries. We started using a lot more batteries now that I've opened this up again. Uh, yeah. But that'll just be filling that up. I'm glad we didn't put bloody passive provider um, loaders down the bus. Because I was thinking about doing it at, you know, every now and then. But I'm glad we decided not to do that everywhere. Because that just would have been massive. Eh, hey, give me some more undergrounds. Definitely need to start filling these guys up a little bit more. Uh, there we go. Although I can see the construction robots have been doing a bit of it. Some of these will be making it all the way through. There we go. All the way to the end. And plastic and batteries and all that sort of stuff. So, excellent. Let's just keep hooking these guys up. And we've already got our first wood up there. So, let's actually... Oh, of course, i got no undergrounds now. Uh, this is a bit awkward. You will need to give me some undergrounds, sir. There we go. That's four of them. There's another two. So I do like the fact that they are giving some to me. Let's just steal some while we're here. Because some of these will go to me and some of these will go to like uh, the construction on the main bus. And it's I'm happy that it is still giving a decent ratio to me and not giving all of them to, uh, to the bus. Because I have been a little bit worried. Stone, we're no longer putting on the bus, are we? So... Don't have to worry about that. You are a very short hop, and you are a very short hop as well. That's going to funnel all of those guys through. Are you only a single thing? Oh, you're going into a chest here, so you're going to double out from there anyway. So that's all good. Uh, let me see. Batteries seem to be dead. Where's me glass gone? Where is me? Here is glass. It's coming down from all the way down there underground all the way so you go like that and then you go like that that's nice i think we'll try and squeeze this distance out as much as we can make it sort of a nice open area here that we don't have to worry about too much so there we go that's glass We've got glass, we've got plastic, we've got these two batteries. We've got everything down in this bottom section taken care of. These are all circuits, so they're being built as they're needed, so we don't have to worry about these. Uh, we've got these three. This is made further down the bus. Gold and aluminium. We hooked up lead, didn't we? Yeah? No, we didn't turn these around correctly, so that's what that was missing. And you, tin, yes, you are good. So aluminium and gold, and then we just got to worry about the things up the top. So where did we say aluminium was? Aluminium was up here somewhere, wasn't it? Is this one? I thought it was this, but this is batteries. So aluminium is right here. 
So we go like this, turn that around, go like this, turn that around, go like this, turn that around. Now, did we need aluminium for anything else? It doesn't look like we were splitting it off for any other reason, so let's just hook it up here. Can you stretch an extra bit? You can. There we go. So that's aluminium going straight in. Let's just see if we can see it in the little gaff. There it is. Beautiful. That's aluminium. Now we need gold. Here's gold. Excellent. Oh, we got titanium right here as well. That's awesome. So once again, like this. And we'll just, we'll just put it out here. Man, I really, really do love embracing this uh, embracing this underground culture here. Putting undergrounds absolutely everywhere. It is beautiful. Now, we're going to leave this like this. This is bronze or brass, one or the other. And later on, we will move bronze production over into the, um, the bus, or into the smelting area, sorry. I mean, we made it in the main factory because we were like, why the hell not? We can do it there, and we were just doing things initially but i don't think we need to because this needs tin copper and carbon and all three of those will probably be made in the smelting area in fact they'll definitely be made in the smelting area so this will be um not made on the bus we still need carbon for other things though so i feel like that's still required now what are we doing we need to get okay so you we might need to squeeze these blue belts over a little bit. Things like these guys merging on here. Maybe they should be done over here somewhere to sort of squish this in. I feel like this is the edge of where we want all this blue uh, stuff going on. So what we'll do here is like this. Uh, and then... So we don't impinge too much on this uh, this side, so we can leave that for total smelting. Now you are coming down this way, so that's fine. We just won't worry about that at the moment. Now titanium. You need to go up like this, don't you? And you need to go up to about there. And you need to go across. And you need to go into there. And we need W. There we go, so that's titanium. This guy is no longer required. Can't, even on a blue underground, it still seems to take ages to get in there. But there we go, there's titanium taken care of. And we might as well do steel while we're here. So steel is gonna be the same deal. Stretch across as fast as you, far as you can. These guys will be destroyed, so we might as well destroy them now. And we'll feed them down into that one, actually. Um, although we still have to do a funky setup with the copper coming out of cobalt, don't we? Can we do this? Yes, yes we can. So here we go, turn around, turn around, turn around. Steel goes into this area. Pops in, and we got a nice little mirror set up here as well, which is nice. Uh, how many undergrounds have I got? A hundred and... Should I run down here and start placing them? You know what? Yes. Yes, I should, because we're actually going to fill up everything here. This is beautiful. All of them have been placed, and i still got over 50 in my inventory. So there we go. All those guys are good. Why are you not getting through? Some of you, there they go, they're coming through now, the wood's coming through. You can really see it doesn't instantaneously go from this one to this one, it still takes the blue belt amount of time. What's missing here? We are missing a belt here, so all of these guys are good. One-sided, why are you one-sided? Why are you zero-sided? Oh, there's just not enough product going through. Oh well. That's fine. Eventually there will be enough going through here. What were we missing? I asked bronze. Bronze is fine. So let's go here. 
where was the uh, where was this? So this one is here. Oh, we've actually got a whole lot of copper that actually started coming out of this guy. Ah, oh, so it did start producing. Alright, let's hook this guy up again. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this and we're going to do this. And we're going to do... Now you are somewhat important, but we're going to move you a bit. Because I want this space for other things. So what we're going to do is have a storehouse here. And we are going to do our little thing with the things here. Oh, uh, because I think we need to. So you go like that. And then we will have three guys coming out here. Going in like that. Excellent. So there we go. So that's all of this copper working. Uh, all of this will be redone later, obviously, but for now. Like that. And then you are going to be uh, three, two, like that. Oh, no. We need to push these back a bit so we got room for the for the things. Destroy that guy. Don't need those anymore. So then we put red wires. Always have some red wires somewhere where I never can never remember where they are. You need to be oh, it's not letting me put them in here. Put you guys in there, throw you away, and you can go and get recycled. So my red wire is one, two, three. And now we shift, yeah, and that's only if it's less than 50k. How much can we actually store in here is the interesting question. Uh, I don't know. How much? 200, so it's 2,000, 10, let's make that 10,000 actually, because this guy does not store as much. There we go, less than 10,000. So that is a beautiful little copper setup that we've got there, and we haven't even upgraded these to be capable of doing blue belts, so I'm not sure I'm worried about uh, upgrading these belts, although I do need to join that one up. Because that is just embarrassing. And then we still got the copper coming out here, going all the way over there. Not using much at the moment because we're backed up on the cobalt, but yeah, as soon as we start using cobalt, that will uh, start fitting out copper again, and we will be ready for it when it does. So then we can get to the point of draining this out. So do we want to do that right now? Actually, let's do this. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Absolutely beautiful stuff. So this will get drained out into here and start backing this guy up. Or we could just leave this forever until this guy starts running out. And Although these, yeah, these guys will start backing up fairly soon. And then we just got to start filtering the iron over into this one, which is pretty awkward. But once this guy drains out, we can get rid of that and we can start doing some more interesting stuff. Titanium, not quite back enough, but it looks like it filled up half the belt and it's just the other half that needs to fill up now, which will get done fairly soon. Yep. All of these other guys are looking beautiful. Although these really don't have a lot. Really don't have a lot. They're having a lot of trouble filling up the belt. They're all there, but they're having a lot of trouble filling up the belt. That's fine. We'll just leave them alone for now. So let's have a look here. You can go like 
that and then you can go like that and then you so what we do here and what we do is uh yeah i don't feel like these guys are really all that necessary at the moment we'll leave the chest here but this other stuff i mean it doesn't really serve a function to be honest um we could make this like a request to chest for these guys but if we do something like that that's something that i want to be a global thing for all of these so we can have a request to chest that um basically feeds things back into the bus. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. So I'm not going to do that here. These are just going to be passive providers for now. And then this guy feeds it down into there, which is beautiful. So you are copper, 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 copper. Uh, and we need to figure out a balancing strategy as well for these guys, because you got to remember, if we got three belts, we do want to balance them again after we take stuff off them. So that's going to be interesting it's going to be really interesting Whew. i just do not know to be honest i don't know how we do a nice balancing thing here uh let's have a look here so we can sort of copy this a little bit No, that's not what we want. We want that to be one up. One up. Okay, so that doesn't work too badly. It looks like there's a bit too much belt here, to be honest. I'm not sure I like that, but that's all right. Now you go away. And you fill that one up. Uh, we'll put this here. We might drain this belt later on, but this belt is being this thing's being drained anyway, pretty fast. So that looks like it'll be fine. Over here, what we'll do is we'll do this again over here. So this time we'll do like that yeah i like that little module i like it quite a lot this one looks a bit stupid because of all this space here but if we really wanted to be anal we could do this that's really anal to be honest uh but it looks nice it looks like this is a little modular thing now which i really like and you are tin aren't you tin is two so this is awkward because tin is actually really close to copper so what we might do is copy and paste that we're gonna have to make this a little bit smaller though uh we can squeeze it in like this actually can we that is beautiful so that goes away that goes away that goes away because we don't want to mix freaking did we just mix lead into the tin line I feel like we might have accidentally. Uh, crap, crap, crap. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. First of all, I take off my legs because they're making this hard to do. We're gonna drain all of the tin here and I'm gonna drain it and I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna drain it until it's all gone. Until there's no more tin coming through. Come on. Still getting tin. I thought I cut this off. Where Where's the tin coming from? Any more tin? No? You got no more tin for me? Excellent. So, there we go. Did we put any tin up here? I feel like the answer is no. And now we're actually... So you go like that. Excellent. I really like that. Give me my legs back, please. Give me my legs back. There we go. So... 
Oh, it doesn't quite reach up that high. Um, that's fine. We can witch that up a little bit and that gets up there. Beautiful. This is going to be carbon. And now we get to the awkward point of having this intersect. And I feel like we're just going to uh, avoid this for now. So carbon. Carbon is a single line, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is this line. So. There we go. And that we can just do beautifully. And the really good thing I like about this is I can place this here and I could put this anywhere I want and it just automatically pulls stuff off and sends it up. It's just brilliance, absolute brilliance. Okay, so now we are gonna have these guys going on. Uh, they're coming out of a chest, so they don't need to be balanced. You go down to, where are the components again? They're these. Okay. And then you go like this, and you go like this, and of course you're the wrong way around, so we've got to change that. And yeah, now these guys are kind of not necessary. Really not necessary anymore, but we'll keep them going. And solder is not going to be necessary either, to be honest. So we get rid of these three and these three. Still leave them there, of course. And let's be honest, we can get rid of all of these guys. They are just going to be markers for what's going on here. And there we go, electronic components come on down. And we'll just keep going on and doing this for a little bit longer because I feel like it's good. So wood, where did I get wood from last time? Oh, that little thing, that's a bit uh, annoying. So wood needs to be like this. And where is my wood? It's right there. Now imagine when we got bloody uh, things that are twice as long. That is going to be insane. There we go. There's the wood. You are going to be my solder. And you get to go away. And there we go. There's solder. What are we getting up here? Tin and lead. Tin and lead. So we need a double thingy bob here. Get rid of those three for tin. Yeah, let's get this off before. Let's get this off beforehand. Is that tin? Yeah, it looks like tin. And then lead, we can get off here. Excellent. So that gives us back our solder again. You are not a passive provider and you really really should be and this guy's not a passive provider either and he really really should be everything should be a passive provider from here on out absolutely everything passive provider passive provider we'll be doing that all later so it's all good oh my god you are well i suppose it doesn't matter too much if you are well you know what this is a very, very good setup that we are going to be using for the rest of the game, these guys. So yes, we will make everything here blue belts. And we will make everything here blue belts. 
blue belts all the way all over the place excellent 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 and then we got this and then let's let's get these guys set up and done i feel like the basic electronic boards we definitely should be getting done um although you're gonna we're gonna start to run into things that need iron over here and that's where we're going to need to refactor iron so we'll do this and then maybe we'll call it there because refactoring iron relies on this oh it is destroyed it is all cleaned up excellent so maybe we can get to uh iron this episode so we can clear up this belt get all of that stuff taken care of excellent 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 so back to basic circuit boards I wonder if any of these are still crappy old belts. Doesn't look like it. So solder and basic circuits. Basic circuits is a two belt, isn't it? Uh, where's my two belt? Basic circuits. So you go up like that. And you are like that. The most you can do don't need that because that one does hook up there what the hell happened here something went terribly wrong there we go basic circuits going through again and then these guys this is a single so we just need for this guy to be soldered. We don't need this anymore because that one goes all the way over there. There we go, solder. And what are you? Basic components. So we need... Uh, this is going to be an interesting one. We're going to have to make up a new one here because... Uh... Do we? I kind of feel like we want two singles going up there, and then I want to um, sort of merge them both in afterwards. So what we might do is we might do... No, that's going to be weird. Uh, so do that. And then we do this. Okay, that looks a little bit weird, but that's basically getting the job done. It's taken off both lines, it's feeding them both up there. And we'll send this guy up to there, and then we'll send this guy up to the same place so they're both even. Excellent. So that should be components, both of them going all the way up there. Excellent. And now we'll start to get a lot of circuits coming down. So you don't need to be there. And then blue is going to be like here. And then we can go ahead and we can get rid of all of these four, actually. All of those four. Uh, you guys can all go as well, and you guys can all go as well, and you guys can all go as well. Uh, yeah, we remove the stuff that we don't need at the start. I feel like that's just a smart idea. And then as we go further on, the belt will start to get fuller and fuller and start to make more and more sense. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, I really like the way this is looking. It's, do it's not over cluttered. You can see everything nice and clearly. And as long as we really tie down stuff, I feel like it's going to be good. You know what? Actually, I'm going to uh, do that. Just really be like ultra no normal belts, just ultra undergrounds everywhere, except for these spaces. And that is good. So we've got our three iron here, and then we got nitinol and tungsten carbide and some other random crap there. And we're producing... Look at this guy, man. I don't think I've ever seen this guy that go that fast before. So we are really doing the right thing right here. Basic circuits are going on through. 
And should we get basic circuits hooked back up to solar is the question. Where is our solar? Solar is here. Let's, let's get this hooked up, actually. Let's get this hooked up before we finish. So uh, let's go and get a two belt into one thing from over here. Let's grab this guy. Nope, I want the whole thing. There we go. So we got a two for one for solar. So you need to be like that, and you need to be like that. Not quite. There we go. Basic circuits going in. Now we will need copper. Uh, yeah, let's get copper. Do we have a... Th we got a three to one, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. All the crazy things we need these days. Solar, so that's going to be here. You go away. And this guy runs over there. We're going to need to empty this build out at some point as well. I just do not know when we're going to do that, but at some point we do. Du, 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 du. Phone's just making funny noises. And what else do we need here? Steel. And we just ran out of steel completely. So thank, uh, thank God that we actually have steel on here. I like the fact that we do. Okay. So steel is another two to one. So we can just take our basic electronic circuits and do steel here. Yeah, I feel like we can make that work. We're going to have to refactor this slightly. Um, that's fine. So you are steel. Two. There we go. Beautiful. So that is steel working perfectly. And now we've got everything we need for these guys, I'm pretty sure. You need production mo productivity modules as well. We got a bunch of those. These will eventually die when these things start dying, but that's fine. I feel like that's fine. We're gonna have to do some funkiness around here. Although the undergrounds will go under all of these guys, won't they? All of these big underground gaps will just go straight under these warehouses. So we do not need to worry about these guys. And they will eventually get used up. We're gonna take this one away because it's not in, within logistics range. And all of the stuff that was in it, we're just gonna dump over here. What was in it? You and you, and I feel like a bit of you. Uh, I'm not sure what else. We got a whole bunch of random crap in our inventory, but that's all fine. You, I feel like I had a thing. There we go. Do we care about these? We got 202 and we got 78. Let's finish off the episode by dumping a bunch more of these off. And then that is going to be it. And I'm feeling really, really happy about our bus right now. About just the way it looks, the way it feels. It feels like I'm actually a professional Factorio player for once. Like I'm actually know what I'm doing. I'm actually producing something that's just really beautiful to look at. And really feels like it's very solid. So very happy about that. Go on, put those down. And yeah. Let's have a look at our graph. Spiky point right there. That means that we are fill up our accumulators before the uh, it even reaches our full potential for solar power. So we are beautiful. Of course, the base is shut down at the moment. We're not really doing anything useful, so it's to be expected. Alrighty. Mr. Tin is now dead. Absolutely 100% dead. So we'll have to, uh, have to do something about Tin at some point, I feel like. Um, have to get another source of tin in here because that would really suck. We just upgraded all of our furnaces to do more tin, so we do have a bit of tin stacked up. Uh, how are these guys doing? They're both full, excellent. So tin's not in dire straits at the moment, but it's 
we don't have a raw source coming through anymore and that will start to show up fairly soon. What are you not running for? You're not running because these guys aren't running because there's no carbon coming through. Did we not fix carbon? Maybe not. I forgot to link carbon down as a separate source, maybe. As a separate source. Probably should have done that. Can't remember why I didn't do that. So is this carbon? This line? Yeah, so this line is this line is the carbon. Alright, so carbon is now going through. I feel like we don't need any more yellow belts anywhere here. Just take them all and kill them. Just kill all of the yellow belts. Uh, yeah, why not? Kill all the yellow belts. We're still going to have some yellow belts here and there, but it's all good. All good. So there we go. There's the carbon going through. We've still got some silicon going on and all that sort of stuff. So happy with that now. Uh, yeah, and stone... Stone obviously not going on the bus. That is going to be logistics based when we get around to it. As are you. So you, sir. Let's just do this now. Uh, I'm way over time. I feel like 40 minutes is enough. But let's just put basic circuits here. And there we go. Basic circuits coming straight out of the uh, garbage, actually, which is nice. So yeah, hopefully this garbage will start getting used up as well. I will have to put some sort of feedback into the belts and into the smelting operations and all that sort of stuff for all sorts of things. Don't delete this because this is... This is definitely for... Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to get rid of everything that we don't need. Uh... Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. So there we go. Be more copper coming into there. These guys are shut down. Everything is brilliant. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for now because I definitely need to be getting to bed. But my God, I do love our bus. I love it, love it, love it. And the only problem with it is it's hard to see when things are not working because you've only got this narrow window. You don't have the whole bus. So it's a, hard, a bit harder to see. But I feel like the... The bonuses of having the underground, the undergrounds and all this different space and everything, it really just does make it a lot easier. And long term, UPS issues will be a lot less, a lot less painful as well because we don't have massive amounts of belts just everywhere. It's all undergrounds and it's so beautiful. So anyway, that has been this episode. Thank you very much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Stay tuned for that.